Hello everybody and welcome back to Bizarre Bears. Uh, it's been a long, long, long time coming, but I finally, after so many years of wanting a Tesla, finally ordered my Tesla about a month ago. So I ordered the Model Y uh, along with two other friends. Um, we're pretty much putting them as company cars because we do drive around for our company a lot and we're hopefully going to be saving a lot of money on gas. So I've been wanting a Tesla for a long time, but um, it's finally, finally come to fruition. So out of all the years of hard work that I've put in, it's uh, pretty cool. So anyways, enough of that. We've got three Tesla Model Ys coming and I want to get the Tesla wall char charger installed in my shop here. I'm going to show you guys that uh, right over there. So first thing we're going to do is um, let me go ahead and unbox this first to show you guys what it looks like. I got an electrician coming in tomorrow. I'll try to get him on film if I can. Um, installing it. So let's get it unboxed. I'm going to show you my breaker box, where it's going to go, uh, the placement for it and everything like that. And then we'll see if we can get a little bit of the footage of the electrician here installing it. Then when it's done, I'll connect it to the Wi-Fi. Now I'm going to have to wait on my car, which might take another two to three weeks, but I am patiently waiting. You guys stay tuned. We'll be right back. All right, so pretty cool looking box, I might add. There's just a little seal here you need to break, just like so. It should open right up. Woo, woo, woo. Oh, geez. Let me, uh, let me lay it down flat. How about that? I just don't want to drop this thing, you know? All right, so let me just get a little closer so you guys can see it. Perfect. Let me straighten that out. Sorry, I am not that professional. All right, so we're good here. Let's just go ahead and open the box. Oh, shoot, it's upside down. I remember another guy saying that as well. All right, there it is. Woo! Let's go a little bit closer here. I just want to let you guys see how it looks inside the box. It looks fantastic. Okay, looks like we're nice and zoomed in here. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's cool to the touch. Almost has a glass feel to it. It just feels sturdy the art. It's probably the best thing I've ever touched. Jesus. And I'm not lying here. Uh, I don't think people give Tesla enough credit for their design. Jesus. Wow. I almost don't even want to touch this thing. It feels like I'm touching an alien's head. All right, so let's, let's get it out. I ordered two of these, one for my friend. Uh, he's gonna be installing it at his house. This looks like it was open before. All right, so I ordered the 18 foot cable with it as well. You can see we got that big boy there. All right. Let's just see the end of the cable. I don't even want to unrip it. I'll let the electrician do all that. I was gonna do it myself, but you know, it's Tesla. I just want to make sure it's done right. And uh, I know that back plate comes off. So with that said, uh, that's the Tesla, not too much to show there. You got the template and everything like that. I'll make sure the electrician gets that. But let me go over here and show you guys where I'm gonna be installing it. All right, so the Tesla wall charger, I'm gonna get rid of this old Cat5 cable that we don't use here. We're gonna put the Tesla wall charger right here. So the 18 foot cable can run this way or out the door if we need to, if we're gonna be charging. Um, right here's my breaker box that just happens to be right here. And they told me, as long as I'm not running anything on these 30 amps up top here, that I should be good. Which I'm not. I don't have like anything, uh, air conditioner or anything crazy running on those. So I got two 30s right up top here. Um, so we'll see. They're probably going to install another breaker. And they told me they can do a 240, 50 amp, no problem. I'm hoping I can get a 60 amp. So that is where the location is. There's the breaker box. There's where it's going. And uh, now we just need to wait on the electrician and I'll get a little footage of him doing the installation and I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's complete. 
All right, our electric guy is here to install our Tesla charger. Okay. Tesla well charger being installed. Good price. Okay, so the Tesla wall charger has been installed. Let me close the door there. Look at that, guys. They did a phenomenal job. The electrical connection, I'll shot them out. Professional, professional job. Omar is your guy. They wired that up right through here. My box didn't need anything. It was already fine. I didn't know what I was talking about with the 30 amps. We were all good. They still work. But we got the uh, 60 amp Tesla here, exactly what we wanted and everything's working now. So what we're gonna do now is just get this hooked up to Wi-Fi so it can get its update, and then we'll wait on my Tesla car, and we'll charge that bad boy. Okay, so let's get this thing hooked up to Wi-Fi. Now, in the manual it says that you can just press this button and it should display your Wi-Fi. I tried this a couple times and it wouldn't work, uh, but one surefire way to make sure that it uh, connects to Wi-Fi is just to swing over to your breaker box uh, go over to your Tesla breaker, turn it off, make sure it's off, just wait a couple seconds, and then go ahead and just flip it back on, and it should just pop uh, right on like so. Now when you do that, you're able to uh, see that it pops right up on the Wi-Fi. Just give it a second here, and it'll say Tesla wall charger, just like so. Then just go ahead and connect to it, and then put in your password that came with your uh, Tesla charger. I just uh, did that now. All right, so now we are uh, connected to the wall charger, and you're going to want to type in this IP address, which is 192.168.92.1.1. Um, Perfect. Now you're connected to the Tesla wall charger, and you can just see it's got your part number, serial number, alerts, Wi-Fi software, installation. Um, you can see our installation's in red there, so we want to change that. So you can go to software, check for updates, just to make sure if there's any updates. Looks like mine's already shipped updated, which is cool. So under installation, just want to uh, go ahead and put your country in there. Yeah, I'm just going to select the United States. My circuit breaker is 60 amp. Just going to make sure. And it already detected that. And then just hit save. Uh, access controls, I don't think you need to worry about this. This is just uh, vehicles you want to allow for charging, which is cool. Um, I just selected all vehicles for now, just in case I have any friends that would like to come by and charge their car or something like that. You know, I'm open source. Anybody can charge, whoever wants to. Um, so with that said, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I don't have my Tesla yet. It will be coming soon. When I get it, I'm going to show you guys if the charger works. Take it easy. Have a good day.